slithering. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Fuck, the range is so bad. Hey everybody, unscripted video today. Just gonna talk about the playtest from yesterday. Well, today, this morning. Uh, I actually finished the, the playtest about three hours ago or so. And uh, after that, I got an email from Google saying that my monetization was canceled because of some issues. Uh, I'm very pissed about it. I was on support with Google for three hours. And now I'm here to record this video three hours late because I had to deal with fucking Google support and I'm real pissed about it. It's okay. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to talk about the playtest in case anybody missed it. And uh, Sam is going to edit this and throw some footage in the back as well as probably some Twitch clips, things like that. Thanks, Sam. Right off the bat, the two team objective maps are very defender sided, which isn't good. However, the raising of Axander team objective map, it's a lot better than the other one. The breach of Bodwin. And it's not that the Breach of Baldwin is really bad, it's that the raising of Axander gives a lot more interaction to the defenders. For example, when an attacker plants a petard on the lighthouse, defenders can disarm it, which you previously have not been able to do with any of the petards in the other maps. At the last objective, when you have to burn the bookshelves, the uh, defending team can actually put out the burning bookshelves with jugs of water. And that's already a lot more interaction than you ever really get on the defending team otherwise. The maps are incredibly good looking, however, the Breach of Bodwin doesn't have shadows, I can't explain why. The Raising of Axandir and the Desert map are very good looking, I'm a big fan of them. Also, surprisingly, horses, which are probably one of the biggest points to talk about, horses are very good, I was surprised. They look good, they feel pretty good, they're a bit clunky right now, but they're really nice to use. I think they're well balanced. I think there's an issue right now where um, horses and the riders are not taking the damage multiplier they're supposed to while riding. Like they're giving out extra damage. Like if you're on a horse and you hit somebody while moving, you do more damage. But I don't think the riders are taking more damage like they're supposed to. But either way, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's really interesting. Horse archery is just as broken as I thought it was going to be. Hopefully they, they, they fix that one. The two-handed spear, like, special stab attack didn't work on horseback, but that's okay. To talk about the Tenosian faction, we've only got two voices to use in this playtest. They don't sound amazing, which is a shame. They're not that bad, but I feel like maybe the other voices might be better. I, I just wasn't a huge fan. Maybe it's because everybody was using the same voice. Maybe that's why. Uh, other big issue... The Tenosians are very hard to, like, distinguish. You can't distinguish an archer from a vanguard or a footman from a knight. They look the exact same. And what's worse is if they're burnt and bloody, you know, because they've been on fire and they're injured, they, they are basically indistinguishable from a mason at a quick glance. Like, you just can't tell. It's really fucked up. I think it needs a tweak. I think they need to fix it, add something. They need to be distinguishable. It's not good right now. It's, it's like, not healthy. It's bad. Uh, the Warhammer nerf was basically non-existent. It doesn't matter. It's just as good as it was before. Uh, noticed a lot less crossbow, which I'm happy about. I used the crossbow for like a minute. It's fine. Uh, they added a lot more throwables and stuff. I'm a huge fan of the sandal. <laughs> I went on like a sandal kill streak in the last game of the playtest. I thought it was great. It's a lot of fun. It's got the worst range I've ever seen, but it's it. I mean, it's a fucking sandal. It's fun. It's amazing. Uh, the turn caps are very noticeable. I'm happy about them. Doing a special attack just has a horrible turn cap. It's really hard to, like, aim it now. And I am glad about it. I am glad that's the case because it makes them a lot more dodgeable. But it's going to take a lot of getting used to for me to not miss them. The sprint attack on footmen was also given the same treatment. I'm happy about that. Archers don't get 20 extra overheal, which is great. I didn't really notice the disarm cooldown changes I like at all. It seems like it's the exact same. I dodged pretty quickly out of getting disarmed once, so I'm not sure how if that if it's even working. Overall, I'm really happy with the update. I think it's a lot of fun. I think this is a good update. Some of the bugs from before were fixed. Not all of them. I, I'm really I'm really excited to see this update come out. Just to be clear. But I do have to talk about some flaws and some issues. Again, horse archery is fucked. Uh, the maps are way too defender oriented and the breach of Bodwin has just the, like, it just, it looks really weird because of its, it just doesn't have any lighting. But at the very end, you shoot like a bunch of cannons at a wall and the wall has some of the best like destruction I've seen. I know it's like scripted destruction, but it, it looks really fucking good. 
It looks rad. If only we could go through the wall. That would be amazing. But no luck. Uh, there were some server issues during the test where it just feels like counters and parries and stuff were not working. Sometimes your hits wouldn't connect. There was some issues with... It felt like my inputs were not being accepted sometimes. Sometimes I would get stuck moving in a random direction without any, like, input from me. Like, I'm not touching any of the buttons, but I'm still just drifting off somewhere. That's not good. That's, that's pretty bad. Sometimes, uh, you would just do something you didn't input. It, there, there's issues. I'm hoping they won't make it into the launch build of the game. But overall, if I had to, if I had to just summarize everything, the playtest was a ton of fun. I played it for like 9 hours and I streamed for like 10 and a half hours. It was great. I had like 180 people come by like at the same time at one point. That was like great too. Thanks everybody. If you're watching this and you were there, I really appreciate it and I hope I see you again. I just, I think this is going to be great. I think they're going to do a good job. I just hope they can stick the landing on the update. Please, for the love of fucking God, don't fuck it up. Please, Torn Banner. It's really good. And I can't wait to cover the launch build of the game when it comes out. I tried my best to test the, the changes from the, uh, in the playtest, but it, I, like, it was it's just not that much, really. Like, the turn caps on the, like, spears and some stabs and special attacks, like, that's all stuff you can, like, see. There were some issues with horses on the, some of the, like, areas. It's very easy for your horse to get stuck on nothing. Now, like, if you hit a wall, for sure, that's fine. But, like, it, sometimes you would just, like, walk over some rocks and your horse would just stop because there's an invisible wall there. That's not good. Either way, I hope for the best. I hope the Steam launch goes great. I'll be there. I'll play it. Hopefully my Steam review will be done by then. It should be. I've got uh, about two weeks to do it. Uh, I'll see you guys later tomorrow with whatever I upload tomorrow. Probably going to be the Executioner Axe video. Uh, see you later. Have a good one.